It's 13th gen in here. And it's not true. They're not paying me anything, okay? Um, we need to talk because uh, I've seen some misinformation in the comment section below. And we're gonna unbox the 13th gen for Intel, Raptor Lake. It's inside there. Let's go. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. So I've seen a few people in the comment section below repeatedly, different people saying that I'm paid by Intel and you you know, it must be good getting paid by Intel because I'm making constantly Intel stuff. So let's uh, rewind a few years, okay? Friend, Brent Rambo. I think in 2019 and 20, I was only recommending AMD. Ryzen 5000, that was the only thing that I kept recommending to people. But then the 12th gen came around and then kind of the Ryzen got pushed in the side in terms of performance for creators. Like, here's the thing, right? I don't care which company is best. Nvidia, AMD, Intel, you name it. I'm just finding the one that's the best performance, best bang for buck, and then kind of diving deep into that type of thing for that type of season. At the moment, my Ryzen 7000 review is not out yet just because they're still in the shipping process by the time I'm making this video, which is 10th of October. They're coming out, okay? I might be a little bit late, but they're coming out. I just have to explain a few things, how things work behind the scenes with like YouTubers. What the heck, like how, how do you get this before, you know, the time and so on. YouTubers have become basically like media outlets, right? Video magazines, as you would say, right? Where companies, if they want to promote or, you know, want their product to talk about, they send their things like this Intel Raptor Lake over here, for example. It's not out yet. It's been announced, but you can't really publish the reviews. You basically then agree on an embargo or basically NDA, non-disclosure agreement, which basically says that, look, we can give you this thing, but you're not allowed to talk about it until this X given time. And basically what that gives the reviewers to do is we get the product before the actual launch date. We can check them out, test it, talk to some of the Intel guys or something if there's problems or if you can't get something to work, then we can release it. Did exactly the same with the NVIDIA RTX 4000 series with loads of different companies, okay? It's not just NVIDIA and AMD and Intel, like the big companies, it's smaller companies. It's about power supplies, coolers, any company you do, sometimes there is an embargo. Sometimes the product is released and then you can review it whenever and whatever. You agree that you're not gonna share any information about that, but you never agree on any of the things that you are supposed to say. Like I have zero things for me to say, look, you have to say this, otherwise we're not gonna give you this, okay? There's nothing like this going on. No one gets to do this. There is a reviewer's guide, okay? There's a few things that Intel says, look, this is how we suggest you make the review. Here are some of the things, what we have found. So if you find something, you know, slightly different compared to this one, maybe there's some kind of, I don't know, driver issue, some other bottleneck or something like that. There is a guide to review this because it is helpful if you're reading this for the first time or if you're doing it for the you know 20th time they never tell you what to do and here's the thing I have never once been paid by Intel not a single penny have I received from Intel from Nvidia from AMD from Asus I don't think anyone's paid me anything hey have they have they paid anything not yet hopefully because it would be nice to get paid by them that's the honest answer here I have not been paid by any of them. But then, what about all the products and things that you get on your channel? You know, you've got 1490 there. What happens to them? What are you gonna do with them afterwards? There's a spot in the school called River everybody uses. A lot of the things get sent on a loan. That's what it is. Or on a longer term loan. They wouldn't dare. Or some things you can keep, depending on the company's policy. You can keep it. No, I don't want no trouble. I just give it back to them and I'm, I'm okay. And on the products and so on, it just works differently. Each company works differently. They don't tell you what to do, but they just say, you know, hurry up. Some of the companies just let you keep the things. 
And some of the companies just say, look, can I have it back? Some of the companies say, look, can we have it long-term loan? Some of the companies forget about it. And then you're like, do I need to send this back? Do I not send the, need to send this back? Sometimes some things just stay here for a very long time. And I'm thinking, it's what it is. Do they want this back? What's going on here? These are the high ropes. So basically it's a little bit of a gray area, but very often, like 99% of the time, these are not retail products. What it means is that a company makes a whole lot of products, right? But then they also section a selection of this, these products out to give them to the media samples. They're called marketing samples. This is a marketing sample box here of the 13th gen, but you can't buy it from the shop. So Intel has sent these things to the media to kind of, you know, make some noise about the 13th gen and like, like a nice packaging to the media. Different companies do it differently. You know, you've seen maybe the NVIDIA RTX uh, 40 series, you know, nice uh, Founders Edition one launched there. I didn't get that one, even though I have been in contact with NVIDIA. I really wish I could get that one because it's just the nicest looking card. I do have some of these products in there and I'm reusing them often. You might see me like use them in different builds over and over again. That's when someone sends me these things, uh, I can reuse them. Or when I'm doing a PC, often what happens afterwards, I'm gonna tear it apart, put it back in the boxes and put it back in the shelf for storage so that next time when I'm doing a build, I can do it exactly the same and don't have to like get it again or get it shipped again. It's not as efficient to do it that way. So does Intel pay me fat stacks? I wish they did. I'd be much better well off. My income comes basically the sponsored segments that you see in the channel, like you saw in this video. Affiliate links. If you click on any of the links in the description, then there's affiliate commission that I get, like a small commission, uh, like from 0.2 to 8% or something like that, depending on the affiliate program and something like that. Different companies have different affiliate commissions. And then YouTube ads. None of these companies have paid me yet hopefully they will in the future maybe they can do some things but sorry for the wait let's open this up and see what's inside then so this is slightly different than the older lake opening older lake box was like a black and there was intel on it and the die shot but here whoa look at that the die is this time like much much larger and oh what's this there's this over here 13th gen Intel Core desktop processors. 13900K, 700K, and 600K. 5.1, 5.4, 5.8. 14 cores, 16 cores, and 28, 24 cores. Very interesting. And then let's have a look what's on the other side. Okay, there's the real deal things here. That's what we're after. Okay, here's the i5 13600K. Look at that. By the way, this is not retail packaging, okay? You're gonna get probably much nicer box, something different. You have you can already see it online. Uh, go check them out. But 13600K, let's see. I've got a 12600K over here. Let's have a look what's the difference. On the right side, we have the 12600K and on the left side, 13600K, okay? So if you can see on the 13600K on this side, there is much more of like these little pins or some kind of things over there where on the 12 600k there's some pins over there and there and here but they're missing here on the 13 600k okay there's still some smds on the top there be careful with them when you put them back in the box and let's have a look underneath is it any different look at that it is slightly different over here there's like three um smds about something but then the 12 600k is missing them that's 12 600 100k and then in here as you can see these clusters of smds in the middle they're slightly different but this pin layout looks very very similar it should be similar because it's the same socket oh no it's not actually oh <gasps> look at that the pin layout isn't similar i'm not sure if you can see that if you look at them like that you can see that they're not quite exactly the same you can see that can you see the pin layouts they're slightly different which means that they didn't use all of the actual pins on the motherboard can you see the processor it's like different like these the shape of them are is slightly different the right side is 12 600k and the left side is 13600k so there is slightly different pin layouts and then we have the 13900k here it is exactly the same packaging looks exactly the same from the top as from underneath and then the pin layout underneath is slightly different actually it is exactly the same as 
13600K. They're exactly the same. Anyway, I'm excited to check these out and bench benchmark them, which I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna finish this video here. But if you're here and you want to build yourself a best bank for bot creator PC, then check out the links in the description below. You'll see four separate videos. It's a playlist. You can build yourself the best bank for bot creator PC from $750 budget all the way to 5K budget. Different budgets and there's upgrades within the same video. So check them out in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.